Hello, BookTube. I'm here to do a wrap-up of week three of New Worlds November. New Worlds November is a month-long celebration of science fiction created by the bookish Bryants. And there are a slew of hosts. And uh, each week we are guided by themes, uh, prompts for the week, and additional themes as well. I'll list everything down below and all the co-hosts as well. Uh, first week was extraterrestrial, second week was terrestrial, and then the third week what we've just finished is uh, classic science fiction. And that's basically anything 65 and before, uh, more or less before the uh, new wave began to uh, kick into high gear. Now, I read two books for classic uh, science fiction. The first one, well, they're both buddy reads. First was a reread. Well, they're both the rereads, actually. Uh, it was The Long Tomorrow by Lee Brackett, and it was published in 1955. And this is the SF Masterworks edition and with, with an introduction by Pat Cadigan. And it's a post-apocalyptic slash um, uh, dystopian. It's uh, a post-nuclear uh, nuclear holocaust or nuclear war in the United States. Uh, but anywhere from 60 to 90 years, uh, the period, well, probably about 70 to 90 years, 65 to 85 or something like that. Um, and it's, it's a society that's, that's in small groups now because there is a 30th amendment to the American constitution that you can no longer have a city. It's illegal to have a city and that's, uh, so there are no targets now. And it's very agrarian society. The, the technology, for the most part, uh, for for the normal um, inhabitants of the country, is agrarian and early industrial. I would say. Uh, and it's but there's there's you know the memory, sort of the the um, generational memory of of what came before. But it's not talked about too much because it's very fundamentalist religion has taken over as well and is frowned upon to ask questions and you must conform and not look for um, basically, uh, you know, th do things better in a technological way because th th that caused, you know, the Holocaust, the, the uh, nuclear um, uh, bombs and so forth. But there is a myth of and the story of a city or somewhere that is techno technologically advanced still. And these two young teenagers, mid-teenagers, mid-age mid teenagers, about 15 years old, uh, Len and Esau, um, have questions because their grandmother talks about the time before uh, the destruction. And they get into trouble. Anybody who has even thought of coming from this place uh, where there's technological advancement is looked upon suspiciously and in places will be killed, um, stoned to death as as one person is in front of Len and Esau. Uh, you know, they, they watch the stoning um, by religious zealots. So they get in trouble, though, uh, and they, they run away, and they're looking for this place, and it, it becomes sort of a, a Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn story for quite a while until they do actually get to the place, and then that's where technology comes in. But up until, uh, like, the first two-thirds of the book is pretty uh, basic. Like, there, there's the talk of technology and science, but it's... It's not it's non-existent because, as I say, it's it's basically uh, early industrial age um, technology and agrarian. So they do get into scientific uh, uh, science fictional aspects uh, once they are there. Uh, but I won't get into too many details here. We uh, I, I did a live video with Scott uh, the Bookish Bryants and I'll link down below. Uh, the video to that, and if you're interested, you can go and we talk in a lot more detail about the story. Now, the second book I read, uh, again, is a reread, but it was a buddy read with Brandy at the Book Eclectic, and it's Jack Finney's 
the Body Snatchers, 1955. This is the 1955 version, not the uh, uh, fiddled with uh, 1978 version that Jack Finney did. And it's been made into a number of films, and I will be doing a book to sort of film with this, and hopefully uh, with with Brandy, because she has read this, and we'll be watching both the films as well. Uh, and I won't go into too much detail. It's just sort of an invasion uh, type story. It's probably uh, everybody's familiar with this. I've only seen the first, well, I might have seen three films of the four or five. But I only really remember the first two, uh, the 1956 version directed by Don Siegel and then the uh, uh, mid-70s uh, version. Now, uh, I will be reading a, a lot of other material along with this. Uh, I've got a number of books that I want to explore because it, it explores the film and, and aspects of it. Uh, but here's, yeah, I have Arrow uh, Blu-ray for the 1970s version. It's very light, in other words, very light on extras. And then we've got the uh, BFI for the 1956, uh, Don Siegel. And um, and uh, uh, Kevin McCarthy is the actor. And Dana... Oh, I just... Uh, uh, Dana Winter. Uh... And the film, I mean, the, the books, uh, definitely will be reading the BFI Guide. And that was written by Barry Keith Grant. And here's a Starkhouse publication from... Um, sort of a cult publisher, cult films. Uh, 2006, uh, edited by Kevin McCarthy and Ed Gorman. It's essays by Stephen King, Dean Coots, John Albreen, and more. Um, that's this one here. Uh, this one should be pretty good. It's uh, um, it's it's written by uh, 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 Dan Siegel, Don Siegel. Sorry, Don Siegel, um, uh, the director. And it's oh, wait a minute, is it written by him? It's edited by. I haven't actually looked at this. No, no, it's it's a collection of essays, but there are Don Siegel has written a number of uh, of sections in here, and it's talking about the making of it. And it's Invasion of the Body Snatchers, uh, and it's Al Lavalley uh, is the e editor, and this was published at Rutgers University Press, published in nineteen eighty nine, and then yes, I have another one. Uh, the make uh, the invasion of the Bodney Snatchers, making of a classic by Mark Thomas McGee, and this is by Bear Manor Me Media, which is a specialty publisher specializing in in TV, radio, uh, that all that kind of stuff, biographies and studies of TV shows, uh, radio shows, uh, and cult films, and this was published in 2012. So yeah, so this is what. I'll be doing and hopefully uh, get why well, hopefully getting a live video uh, with Brandy uh, discussing the film because uh, we've already discussed the first film a little bit and it's very interesting we see different things in it or uh, like different things about the film so this is going to be a really really interesting um, a discussion uh, and then for the third fourth week sorry is uh, robots and AI now. The th the idea of New Worlds November is to read 250 pages uh, maximum novels, novelettes, um, novellas, and short stories. I've been keeping to that all the way through, but I'm going to break the rules a little bit for the last week. Well, not a little bit. I'm breaking the rules. Um, if I read two books uh, from this series, then I'll be I'm, I'm safe with the second one. Uh, but I want to get back on track with the Isaac Asimov Future History Project. And I have a trilogy here by Roger McBride Allen uh, of Robot Trilogy. And uh, I've not read this before. I hear great things about it uh, all, from all and sundry who have read it. So I have my fingers crossed uh, uh, for this. And the first one is Caliban. 
and it is, as I say, it's it's quite long in comparison. It's 312 pages, so, uh, but they're fairly large words, so I would say it's probably like 290 pages if it was sort of normal typeface. So that's not too bad. I, I don't feel too bad of, of breaking the rules for that. Uh, but yeah, and then hopefully in however many I can get through uh, with the uh, uh, the Body Snatcher books here as, well, here as well. There's a couple I definitely want to read, and then the other two I might just spot uh, check uh, if I don't have time. Um, but yeah, and then that, well, that at least will cover uh, New World's November. Oh, and there there is probably a little short story. I can't remember the author's name at the moment, but it's, it's, I think the title is, um, is either Orchid Andro Android's Orchid or something like that, but it's about an Android. And I, I hopefully it'll be on ebook. It's, it's an ebook that I'll be reading that, but it's just a short story or, or, or novelette. But yeah, that's week three of New Worlds November, and it has been fantastic um, this year. I haven't read as much as I want to because I wanted to read. Um, I got ill again a little bit, and I'm, I'm sort of struggling uh, with uh, attention to, to read. Uh, and because I wanted to read a lot more Hal Clement. Hopefully I can at least put in one, one book of Hal Clement this week. Uh, but it won't be, um, it'll be for the uh, Hal for the holidays because it won't it won't have anything to do with robots actually so or, or ai so anyway um if if anybody has read lee bracket or especially the long tomorrow i'd love to hear what you think of it i really enjoyed it as i say there will be a link down below uh with uh to, to the video that uh scott bryant and i did and uh if have you read or seen the films of um the um the Body Snatchers, and uh, by Jack Finney. Uh, they're both 1955, so it just worked out uh, kind of nicely at that uh, that way. But yeah, I'll see you next time, book two. Take care.